I remain optimistic because of the track record of American ingenuity and the outpouring that has already happened of great ideas coming into this shark tank. So at NIH, we believe that putting the best minds in the world together is the only way to meet the challenge and to bring this virus under control. Uh, am I correct that existing technology won't produce that number of tests, so we need a new technology? I think it's both and, not either or. I do think existing technologies have the potential for further scaling up, and we're very interested in seeing that happen. And BARDA is also very much in that space, and we'll work closely together on that. But most of the existing technologies are done in central laboratories. They're not what you'd call point of care. And we want to see that feature very heavily emphasized in what we do with the new technologies so that they could be more accessible, give a more rapid turnaround as far as a result of the test, and be generally distributed to places that currently don't have much access. They'd like to go back to school in August. Uh, what can you tell them about the availability of testing in August, including the possibility there may be some of these new tests that would expand the supply dramatically. <clears throat> Anything we can do that's going to increase the number of tests available by a factor of five or maybe even ten is very worth what we would want to put into it. But we also believe that it's not just a matter of taking what we have okay. and making it a higher throughput. We need new technologies that have these more appropriate features. I, I want what you want to have at that point is the ability in a community to know whether the virus is circulating. So that means being able to do surveillance, finding out whether the virus is around. If so, then immediately identifying those who are infected and getting them quarantined. And obviously, schools and colleges are a critical place to watch over. So having a great expansion in the number of point-of-care tests at that point so that university presidents or chancellors have a chance of knowing what are the risks to bringing people back, that's what we want to contribute to, and that's what this project's all about.